So I've just installed the Genie garage door opener, getting ready to power the unit up for the first time. And instead of programming it, for pure curiosity, I'm going to hit the remote and see how it responds. More than likely, it shouldn't do anything. That would be a factory safety. It won't run until it's programmed. Another aspect, here's the turnbuckle and here's the trolley. Door connector. So I have the door disconnected from everything and this can flow in either direction. Here's the sealed remote. Like I gotta prove I'm doing this from startup, right? Whoa! I just lost something. All right. So we pull this bad boy right there to activate the battery. And uh, I think it takes a little time to program. I really do, but we'll try it. Okay, there's nothing. Whoa, look at it, it's moving. What's it? Oh. So it stopped, let me push it again. Wow! That is excellent. They have it set, programmed, where it will run in a small increment. But it allows you to know it does work and it just needs programmed. Cool. Now we'll go through the program procedure. But first, release this. Attach it to the door system. Then bring the door and the trolley back up. And attach to your turnbuckle. Now we're ready to program the down travel. So here's the program area. You got program and set. And when you're in the program mode, when you get to the desired location, you push set and then it's stored at that location. Then you got the negative, which is down, and the positive, which is up. And they're actually arrows. So we want to go down. So push and hold the negative till you get a solid blue light. Then release, should start blinking. Press it again. Stop at your desired location and you got 30 seconds to make adjustments. Like it's too tight at the bottom so you want to go up a little. Then press set and it's programmed for that location. Now we want to do the up travel. Push plus till you get a solid blue light. And then the other LED starts blinking. Now you're ready to go up. All right. That looks great. Push set, and now the up motion is programmed. Then use your remote to check. Now we'll demonstrate the open position. Let me do the wall switch. So you see a little line of air down there. I can fine tune the down position. All right, that's a little too tight. That belt is tight. That's not gonna last very long doing that. And this one's loose. So be mindful of that when setting it down position right there you can fine-tune it get the air gap taken care of 
and have equal tension on both sides of the belt, but still have a snug door. Now we'll check the safety features. Then test down pressure. If a child is in the way, the door should reverse. There's also sensitivity on the up motion. If the door jams, it will stop. Everything is working properly. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Hope this has helped someone. And if you'd like to watch the full installation of the Genie Garage Door Opener, I'll provide a link right here, over there,